So I have something that is on my heart to talk about right now, and it's that why why do I live the way I live? Why do I live this lifestyle? You know what I mean? And I say that because most of society, if they looked at me, the way I live, the way I eat, the way I think, they would be like, what's wrong with her? She's a weirdo, you know? I'm fully aware that I am kind of viewed as an alien to some people. And I am total. I mean, this is a whole nother topic, but I'm totally fine with that because I like being different. I like being different than the norm, you know? I don't want to ever go with the herd of society and do what everyone else is doing. And I'm not saying that there's things in my life that I'm not like that, but for the most part, I want to do my own thing. You know what I mean? And I don't give a flip what other people think. And it's taken me some years to come to that, but um, that's the point where I'm at. You know, if you don't, if you're not rolling with it, then scoot away. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> but anyway, so, but why am I a raw vegan? You know, why do I live in a constant state of gratitude? Why am I extremely spiritual? It's because I was given the light, you know, I can't even explain it. I started going to mass, Catholic mass when I was 18. I was always raised Christian and stuff like that. But whenever I was 18, I think is when the light bulb for me really turned on in terms of God and spirituality. And I started really following his path you know and it led me to where I am today um, and then whenever like four and a half years ago obviously I've talked about this so many times I feel like I've just beaten it with a stick I've talked about it so much but four and a half years ago I found raw veganism through Dan McDonald and the rest of my life is history so why am I a raw vegan I'm raw vegan because I treat my body like a temple like to me this is this body is a blessing you know I am a soul kind of trapped inside this physical body, but I figure, hey, while I'm on this spinning, you know, planet, I want to have the best body that I can physically. I want to, I want all my organs to be healthy. I want my GI tract to just be, you know, flourishing. And so that's why I choose to eat raw foods because they are the most alkalizing, water rich, healthy things that you can eat. You look at someone who is eating a plant-based lifestyle, who's eating raw in particular, and then you look at someone who's eating a standard American diet, you can tell. Look at them in their eyes. Look at their skin. Look at their hair. Look at their soul. You know what I'm saying? There's a difference, and it's because you are what you eat. And so when you constantly fill your body with these living, God-given foods that come from the earth, that come from Mother Nature, I'm telling you, it lights your fire like you wouldn't believe. At least that's what goes on for me. So, I enjoy being healthy every single day of my life. I'm not saying every day for me is perfect. I'm not saying I live up in the clouds with the fairies and the butterflies. But I'm telling you that whenever you change your lifestyle and you live this, like for real, your life becomes uplifted in a way that you can't even imagine. And I'm not saying there won't be troubles. And in my next book, I'm having a whole chapter dedicated to social issues, being a vegan or a raw vegan, because they're there, you know? You can't just go out to your barbecue, western sizzling or whatever, <laughs> and, you know, sit down with your friends and family and eat like you used to. It's just not like that. So people are going to view you with anger. I'm telling you, when you change your lifestyle and you become a different person than who you used to be, it makes some of your friends and families and your coworkers angry. And it's because it kind of shines a light on their own darkness and it can just make people like really resent you. And that just is what it is. So you have to find people. This, at least this is what I learned. I have had to find people that accept the way I am for me. You know, they don't look at me as, oh, she's the girl who won't drink alcohol and who won't have a steak. You know, she won't even let loose. You know, those people can go bye bye. You know what I'm saying? I have had to find people, and I'm still continuing to find people that accept me for who I am and who don't, and who look at me for more than just what I eat. You know what I'm saying? So you have to find people like that. And does that mean you might have to snip, snip some people in your life that aren't really looking for the best for you? Maybe. 
I don't know, sometimes it takes time for people to kind of see the lying, for kind of be like, okay, she's just a raw vegan, who cares, you know? That's just diet, you, you know? At the end of the day, it's just diet. And um, there's so many other things to life, there's so many other things to health, you know what I mean? That's why I'm going outside anytime I can, because I want the sun, I want the vitamin D. That's why I was going to show you water, but that's why I drink alkaline water, you know? I want my fluids and my tissues and my every cell in my body to be hydrated on a cellular level. So I love alkaline water. I love exercising. I just, I love it all. I want my life to be the best. I want the quality of my life to be epic. I want my future children to be extremely healthy. And so that's why I'm so blessed that I've started probably 10 years by the time I have children, um, 10 years before I gave birth to them being healthy. How cool is that? It's really cool. So at the end of the day, I live this way because it's my calling from God. I'm anointed to do this. I'm anointed to do these videos, to do these raw food classes, to do these books. It's my calling and it's such a blessing. And I love eating foods that fill my body with life because at the end of the day, it's all about that life and that spark underneath you. And that's what I want every single day. So yeah. Thank you guys so much for watching. Check out my website, victoriarawvegan.com, and I'll see you later. Bye.